Hi, it's me again. I hope you are enjoying us thus far. We still have a lot to give you, but we are going to start open. This, we got the key to the city, <laughs> and the key is for the particular segment, which is health. And today's health uh, segment has a very impressive guest. Like, he's impressed the socks. In fact, Nivile Tus Java socks, but he's impressed the socks of me. But meanwhile, I am Valentine, or at Kalamiva. And if you have any questions regarding the topic today, which is the difference between a psychological strength and mental health, that is the difference between psychological strength and mental health, you can just hit us up, Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. There'll be somewhere below on your screen in other news come here and uh, say hello to my guest hi hi Valentine. how are you sir i'm fine thank you yeah i'm glad to be here today oh i'm glad to have you yeah. i really am yeah what is your good name sir my name is daniel wasonga mm -hmm. yes Welcome. so Brilliant. now we were we were trying to break this down psychological yeah. strength versus mental health yes so Actually, let me just low key tell you a secret. Yes. There have been several incidents that have occurred in the past year. Yeah. And with it, maybe perhaps I start with homicides. We have yeah. femicides. Yes. There was even a case of um, some young gentleman going into state house, I yeah. don't know, with a knife. I don't know <laughs> what he was <laughs> trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah. And all of them, we were he kind of. He claimed God has sent him. You know, <laughs> like all of them were just yeah. blaming it on mental health. Yes. There's, there's a problem there. Mm. Maybe he's depressed, or mm. maybe, and they're skeptics. Because mm. we're from Africa. Yeah. He's just being naughty, mm. and he's using this whole mental thing, yeah. mental illness yeah. umbrella to save him. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What, what's going on here? <laughs> there's, a, there's a slight difference between mental health and psychology. Mm -hmm. Psychology is mostly the mind and behavior, mm -hmm. and mental health will touch the biological aspect of the brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, mental health, it can be something that affects the brain, be it from birth or something like that, but psychological effect is by the thought processing and the philosophies that you carry in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see somebody, you see in life we are demarcated in various schools of thoughts. Huh? Mm -hmm. And through the thought processing, you can see somebody's psycho condition to behave in a particular way. Mm -hmm. And the ideologies that they take in, you see people have been radicalized to do some things because mm -hmm. that is, and you, the thing that may appear as if it's a mental issue, but it's mostly the thought processing of the philosophy they are running in life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically that's the difference. Hey, about mm -hmm. radicalized, I have a question. But yes. there's this um, one story I, I once heard that there was a guy, yeah. he was working in, in a, I want to say like a big factory kind of setting. Yes. So they were locking up and he just happened to be the last one to leave. Yes. So by mistake, Ali Jifungia kwa Frieza. Frieza kubwa. And mm. then there was now no one else to open yeah. it for him. Yeah. And then he sat in a corner mm -hmm. and he, first of all, he couldn't believe what had happened. Like yeah. he, this is the first time it has ever happened yes. in the history of ever working there. Mm. But he started slowly feeling cold because you know he's in a freezer yes, yes. and then he's feeling cold he's feeling cold so by the time the morning came yeah. they found him he had passed on yeah he was in a corner frozen yeah but the thing is the freezer wasn't on <laughs> the freezer was not on yeah. like it was not on yeah, yeah, it yeah. was not cold it wasn't yeah. cold for yeah. uh, what was going on so what's that the what? power of the mind yeah what the what <laughs> what what <laughs> There, there are some kinds of experiments mm. that have been, uh, like for example, in hypnosis, mm -hmm. is, uh, is something that is dealt with the mind. And in hypnosis, mm -hmm. you can hypno be hypnotized to think that this finger is hot. Mm -hmm. And when you are touched, actually it produces a burn on your... <laughs> Legit, like your skin is burning. Literal burn, because the mind, the mind is so powerful mm -hmm. in terms of like, you know, produce whatever you think. And yeah, the, uh, that's how our mind functions. Mm -hmm. So that aspect of the conviction, like say for example, the people of faith, uh, is the faith also is a purely psychological concept because if you, if you can be able to merge mm -hmm. the concepts that are being taught in faith mm -hmm. and the, how it affects the scientific, because God is the one who designed as even the scientific aspect of our being. Mm -hmm. So you see, what we're doing is like we're using thought processes to affect chemical processing in our, in our physical wow. bodies. Yeah. So the thoughts that we, we entertain begins to affect the chemical reaction. For example, anger, mm -hmm. you see, it's, it's talked about psychological strength. Mm -hmm. uh, psychological strength is something that somebody, is, there's some kind of people who can be able to be cool in a tough situation, just observe that people are almost like they're eruptive. Mm -hmm. 
And you see, it's like within them, they don't have uh, something that is able to hold them together because they're crumbling from within. So mm -hmm. they're, they're able to be adaptive. That is psychological strength, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's because of the thought. You see, now, anger in itself is not just because of a thought, but there's, a chemi there's chemicals also that are involved in our physical bodies that now cause us to, mm -hmm. to erupt, yeah. So. Apple core radicalization, let's get back to that. So, yeah, and yeah. This, this is something that's quite fascinating to me. Yeah. I would not understand how someone can be raised, let's say, in a middle income home. Yeah. You know, they, they don't have that much, but they don't lack, yeah. they, don't, they don't lack at all. They yeah, want yeah. for not, they're the good school, they are fed. Yes. Let's say maybe they, they have the average love situation yeah, that the parents yeah. can give. Because again, we're Africans, yeah. and Africans are not actually known to, I love you, oh, yeah. you're <laughs> such a good boy, good girl. No. But we need to learn that. <laughs> we should, yes. Sure. But this is how we have been for generations. Yeah. And then in comes someone who decides to recruit these people and tell them, you know what? Mm. Uh, we're in this organization. Mm -hmm. This is Al-Shabaab. Yeah. Or this is some extremist activist mm. kind of situation. Yeah. And your life will be better if you come with me. Mm. In fact, when you kill yourself, yeah. you will go to a better place. Yeah. Mm? I yeah. will give you this amount of money, mm. maybe to help whoever you need to help. Yeah, sure. And then you boof, uh, a whole entire... <laughs> establishment full of people, yeah, full sure. of innocence, yeah. you know, and mm. somehow this translates into you mm. being righteous. Yeah. How does that even work? Uh, you, everybody is a product of the environment and the knowledge they possess. Mm -hmm. You're a product of the environment and the knowledge you possess. So in such kind of an environment, somebody is like this, I can say like mostly uh, this natural world is more of like an illusion in the aspect of the mind mm -hmm. and the philosophies that run the mind is the reality of that individual. We may be living in the same world but actually in a totally, we are in totally different worlds mentally. So Nikki, you say we are in the same world literally. literally. Have you seen like the, the society's profile according to the nature of the philosophies that we carry? Mm -hmm. And you may be seated in a, a, next to somebody but you're in totally different worlds how you process your thoughts, mm -hmm. your belief systems, your convictions, and things that are reality to you. Everyone, each one is looking at each other and saying, I wish you will understand and be free, and, uh, you see. So somebody mm -hmm. who is in that kind of a, a system feels like uh, the other person ought to die mm -hmm. because they are not part of them. Mm -hmm. And they are convinced, they are totally convinced that like, there's nothing that can set. You try, you try to even cancel that person out of that situation, that kind of a are thinking and mm -hmm. they won't buy into it. They feel like you also need you need to listen to their to their part of the story and join mm -hmm. their way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's what profiles the society. Now, because every every person has their teachers, there's somebody you're looking up to because you're being mentored in any kind of an area, mm -hmm. in every kind of an area. And some some kinds of people, especially the aspect of radicalization, th there's some kinds of people that have just been born in that kind of environment. They happen to be in that environment, so they keep listening this hatred. Mm -hmm. towards humanity as such and it changes because how you process thoughts begins to become filters it filters how you see you see as much as we have eyes mm -hmm. we don't see with our eyes you see through our eyes mm -hmm. but the inner person that is in the the kind of the mindset that you have begins to filter you can see you can see same same scenario two mm -hmm. people and we we'll, will deduce information differently according to the philosophy that we carry. Mm -hmm. You see, so you can see something, somebody, somebody can see something, the, the next thing is flight. Mm -hmm. A person sees something and they are drawn to that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, like in African society, there's no way you can find some, when somebody sees somebody having a snake as a pet, the first thing you'll be like, okay. We are black, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. don't do such things. <laughs> hey. This is witchcraft. Right? Hey, we don't this, do such things. Mm -hmm. But to somebody somewhere else, they, they have related to a snack, you see, and they were like, wow, oh, God, so, wow it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And they're like, wow. If for you, look at that and your blood is... <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, the mind, the mind is able to, to adapt to any situation. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing that people have taught about magic and such kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Some kinds of magicians and they tend to do some kind of things like maybe passing through fire and, such, and sometimes mm -hmm. it may not necessarily be beyond just the ability, the ability of just training the mind to accept, to relate to the environment. Wow. It's so funny that the mind can be able to relate to the environment to the extent that now you have been in an environment that is hostile, but because of that, your mind, the same way that guy mm -hmm. froze in a freezer that was not on. It wasn't on, <laughs> eh? It's the same, it's the same way mm -hmm. a person can be in fire that, and not get burnt. 
Alafu ni kuja nisemeni uchawi. Alafu ni nisemeni uchawi because the mind is so powerful. It 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 puts the when the moment that that philosophy is established, there's a place, there's a gap between just having an ideology and being able to be established in that ideology. Mm -hmm. When you're set of that particular kind of ideology, even your cells now respond to the established That's ideology. That's marvelous. Yeah. I can tell my cells what to do. Yeah, yeah you can tell yourself. Mimi kama val, nesa sema, okay, now today we're going yeah. to have a great day and that's it. Sure. And you see, like, for example, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, you, you can see the mindset of people who are achievers. Mm -hmm. It's like in the midst of every kind of thing. You see, like, the, even problems, the, their way of interpreting problems is different. A mm -hmm. problem does not put them down. They look at a problem, they see this is an opportunity. And you see, when you look at a problem and see this is an opportunity, that's the word, your mark of distinction. Is mm -hmm. like, there's nobody that is a millionaire that is not, that's not um, a millionaire, somebody who has milled lions, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> hey, uh -huh. uh, It means that the butterflies of the belly is mm -hmm. able to, to mill those butterflies and is able to conquer that. They have, it's, a, it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. in the, and you see, most of them have a story, mm -hmm. especially if they are self-made. They say, a particular place I was living in a, in a, in a single room somewhere or in a, in a shack somewhere mm -hmm. or in the streets. They have a particular kind of a story. Then the first thing they will tell you is that mm -hmm. they began changing, first of all, their mind. Mm -hmm. They were the thing, they were the, th the process thoughts. They began to see themselves as achievers. Mm -hmm. And because they're able to program them, themselves that way, the environment had to respond. That's beautiful. Yeah, you have, hey. you have power, the mind has power to exact pressure on the environment, mm -hmm. and the environment will, will respond. Where does low self-esteem and high self-esteem come from? Because in my research, I found that apparently those who with low self-esteem are more likely to abuse mihadarat yeah, yeah. more than, than people with high, high self-esteem. Self Not that you know that they don't you know partake, mm. but they just have a, a more during the affliction, I don't yeah, even yeah. really know how to put it. Because mm. now I in their state, let's say you're under the influence and mm. you have low self-esteem. The next mm. thing is, oh my gosh, I'm useless. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm not worth anything. Oh my mm. gosh, my, my life. Oh, oh, And then maybe you come and start blaming your parents. Mm. Oh, my parents did do this to me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my sibling had a better life. Mm. Oh, why didn't my parents treat me like the way that my, my neighbor's parents? Mm. Nyof, nyof, nyof. It's always either self-destructive mm. or yeah. it's a blame to someone yeah. else. Yeah. So yeah, sure. what is this? Is this mental health? Is this psychological? What's going on here? It's, it's mostly psychological. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, everybody faces almost the same problems. Mm -hmm. is, the, is a possession, a, a disposition that determines. Now, somebody for left, loss of esteem, they want their environment mm -hmm. to favor them first. Mm -hmm. Somebody with high self-esteem, it doesn't matter the environment. The environment has to change to their team. You see, mm -hmm. so it's an art. Is a is a is a is a disposition. So, the person in the high self esteem probably they may have faced the same kind of situations, mm -hmm. or even there are some kinds of people that have been those kind of environment. They had self low self esteem. Then eventually they go to a place of high self esteem. Mm -hmm. It's because of the thought process that they're, they're taking place that they had. I can be in an environment that I've been oppressed or such kind of thing. Then I sit down on, on a chair like this. Mm -hmm. I can I can come and sit on this chair from a place of low self-esteem and I can leave this chair from a place of high self-esteem without anything else being. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can, you see, low self-esteem, I can, I can sit down here and say, okay, everybody doesn't like me. Everybody you see fights me. Mm -hmm. My parents don't like me. Mm -hmm. I don't have friends, that kind of things. And the moment I'm doing that, I'm building blocks. You see, you see somebody with low self-esteem, mm -hmm. even, if, even if in the religious aspect, mm -hmm. When, so, when you're praying and you're telling, you're saying, I'm unworthy and such kind of things, you see, your body is listening. Mm -hmm. So you walk out of the place and the evidence of unworthiness will be upon you. It's like you wow. feel unworthy. You automatically feel, because that sense of the mind that you have that you're unworthy is reverberating your entire being. Mm -hmm. Like if your bones are feeling unworthy, your cells are feeling unworthy. Wow. But somebody else sits down there and says, I'm an achiever. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter because everybody, even if, even if you're an achiever, you find opposition. There's no, in one or the other, as much as people are, may have places that they have extreme kinds of situations, but mm -hmm. we, have, we have, can have testimonials of people who have been in extreme operations and they're still able to overcome and they have high self-esteem. And there's some kinds of people even, you see somebody of low self-esteem, doesn't matter whether you love them, they won't see it. In fact, they'll be, why do you love me? Yeah, yeah. I'm not you even see, they, worthy they, of this love. They, yeah. mm. You see, somebody, you, you, can, you can find, like, you, have, you can say, I have so much love. Mm -hmm. I have enough love to supply to somebody who doesn't have even love, mm -hmm. love for themselves. But it's a problem loving somebody who does not love themselves because mm -hmm. they don't have that vault to be able to receive it. Mm -hmm. You see? So it's an issue. That somebody can sit down on a chair and begin to say, now I, I need to change my life. Mm -hmm. Because... People, when they're coming into drug abuse, first of all, they're trying to find an attachment. It's like you're waiting for the environment to validate you first before you come up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, yes, sometimes it can be good for us to think, okay, let us supply an environment for 
for this kind of people, but for how long mm -hmm. will somebody be in that place? Because it doesn't matter whether it's applied. If you not come to a place of attainment, you'll not be able to turn the game around. Mm -hmm. So eventually it comes to a point, whether it's self, whether somebody tells you or whether you come to that conclusion as a person, you have, everybody has to come to a place and say that I need to change the game. Mm -hmm. I need to be lord over the environment, not the environment lording over me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I have a personal experience. Mm. There's a time in my life I, ex I was grief stricken. Yes. And at this point, previously, I, I was okay, you know. Mm. But then grief happened and suddenly there was a void in my life. There was yeah. a very big void and I did not know, did mm. not know how mm. to fill it. And I kept running away from myself. Yeah. I would never allow myself to be alone. Mm. Either with this person or I've gone out here yeah. or I'm busy, you know, mm. partaking somewhere else. But until... Yeah. You know, I met yeah, myself. Sure, sure. Yeah, I yeah. met myself in the grief. Now I actually just had to feel it. And True. I felt, and it felt like all my bones were breaking all at once. Yeah. When I came out of that, I noticed a very big difference. So yeah. if I was to walk in maybe a day that I'm not on set, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm not the host of the day or whatever, yeah. I would find people being intimidated by me and like, what is the problem? Yeah. Like, I can't yeah. just come and watch you just the behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. I like, know, are you coming? Like, are you planning to? No, I'm not planning to do the interview. I'm not planning to do anything. I'm not even planning to be on TV today. I just yes. came to see how you do your thing. You know, yeah. appreciate yeah. you from behind the scenes. Yeah. So I guess I, I really understand that manifestation yeah, from, sure. mm. from being, you know, all mm. like this to a eh, suddenly I'm, a, I'm so much. Yeah, yeah. People are starting to notice. I'm like, yeah. oh. Okay, okay. Clearly, mm. it's all in the mind. Okay. So, I understand again that um, people who are, I want to say athletes, but yeah. <laughs> let's just put them sports, sports uh, people. Yeah, sports people. Mm. And particular sports. Yeah. Like I saw boxing. Boxing yes. is, is a very extreme sport and it, uh, it just needs you. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you don't have teammates that you to tap, you yeah, yeah, to yeah. rely on. So yeah. you need to be very psychological strong, mm. very, very in the game. You need yeah. to be very aware of, of yourself because you, you reach a point where there's a lot of fatigue and then you're taking a lot of punishment. Yeah. So once you start telling yourself, hey, by the way, I'm a joke. oh my gosh, mm. that's it's a wrap. <laughs> You've lost the game. Yeah, yeah. Even if your hand was, you know, mm. if you had the upper hand rather. Yeah. So help me, again, this is psychological strength. Yeah. Ha. Huh. It's, 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 it's tricky, yeah. but what is mental health then? What's this whole mental health awareness that we're bringing out into the country? What is this we're talking about? Mental awareness, okay. There's some kinds, mental awareness uh, or mental health mostly is, you will factor that mostly in terms of disease bears, mm -hmm. things like schizophrenia, all those kind of things. And uh, it's more of like the biological functioning of the brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the, the kinds of diseases. And sometimes for mental health, you'll treat mental health in a, in a hospital, mm -hmm. uh, put under medication and such, mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, mostly. How like, can you tell the difference? Yeah. How can you tell the difference between psychological strength and mental health? Mm. The, the difference between someone being bipolar mm. and someone being depressed. Yeah. The difference between someone having an actual biological situation going on with them mm. and they just don't believe in themselves. How can mm. I know just by standing yeah. and looking at them? Uh, from from basic situation, like example, uh, somebody mental health, somebody on the streets and is talking to himself and mm -hmm. said so perhaps it has got into a place of mental, mental health. illness. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's some there are some kind of psychological things that can bring into mental illness because when somebody goes beyond depression, mm -hmm. somebody can go mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It begins to become mental because you see, as we we said. Uh, thought processing sometimes affect even the, the brain structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so by looking at somebody, you can tell from this sense. There's some situations that you can say this one, this person. I just need to change their philosophy, and they'll be okay. Mm -hmm. You see, and there's a, a kind of a person you feel like somebody, somebody who has low self-esteem. You can tell that it's just a psychological issue. You just need to tell to change their philosophy, because you cannot treat mental health by telling somebody uh, you are. Are you okay? You are, you're beautiful, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're an achiever, you see. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. Uh -huh. you see, it, can't, it can't work, you see. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it needs to be uh, maybe under medication and mm -hmm. such. But there are some kinds of people you can tell. This person, I think, they are, they are in a world they feel lonely. I just need to give them support to change their philosophy and to bring in the, the who they are from mm -hmm. within and they kick in. Then they'll be able to change their situation. So, 
There are people that I have met. There's a story. Let me start with yeah. the story. So there's a story of a, a girl walking. Um, she's just walking somewhere, going mm. along yeah. her ways. And then a snake comes, and then it's really hot, and yeah. the snake is tired. So mm. the snake tells the girl, please carry me. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm. Then the girl's like, no, if I carry you, you're going to bite me. And I don't want that story. Mm. So no. Then the snake says, no, I won't bite you. I promise. Just mm. carry me, because I'm really tired. Until where you can, maybe, and then I'll go on my way. Yeah. So the girl says, OK, fine, I'll carry you so carry a snake a few meters later yeah. bites <laughs> and the girl asked the snake wait see yeah. we already had this conversation why have you bitten me and the snake said you knew what i was mm. when you carried me yeah. so who told you now kakutuma mm. <laughs> so you have i have encountered people and mm -hmm. and the okay i don't know if they're I want to say that they're all female, but the mm. ones that I have encountered are female. Mm. And they, they look very, you know, soft and, yeah. oh my gosh, they need help. So I said, okay, fine. I have enough um, stamina in mm. myself and psychological strength to, yeah. you know, sambaza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then you come later and find out these people will bite you yeah, yeah. in some way or the other. Mm. Or you find that they're, they're secretly competing with you. Mm. Now we are talking about Like you're just trying to mind your own business, trying mm. to live your best life, yeah, sure. trying to do things before you reach the finish line. Mm. What is that? Is that a psychological problem? Because I don't get it. How, why would you bite someone who's trying to help you? Uh, the, the issue is, uh, that's uh, majorly psychological because mm -hmm. it's an issue of thought processing and as the aspect of competition is like a void. You see, mm -hmm. somebody is not, has not freed themselves with the respect to another person. Have you ever seen this person who is jealous about your achievement and secretly they are wishing for your downfall? Mm -hmm. Not so secretly, apparently. Uh, okay, sometimes you can mm -hmm. even tell, like mm -hmm. even physically, somebody just looking at you and like, I wish you, you see, because of that voidness mm -hmm. and they are not confronting themselves mm -hmm. to deal with the thing that they are lacking in their lives. And you see, most of the times when somebody has, has and some, some, some people even have, they have achievements in life and mm -hmm. they still have that kind of a thing. When s the issue normally in life is when somebody has grown under oppression, mm -hmm. even if they attain, they automatically achieve the status of wanting to oppress others. Oh, wow. They, they, it's like, it's something that happens psychologically. It's subtle, it's underlying mm -hmm. issue, but you see, until we begin to confront ourselves, we, we cannot free ourselves from mm -hmm from these other things like attaching ourselves that even if I achieve, it has to be attached to somebody or somebody trying. You see, people trying to compete means they're void. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're empty in some, in some kind because you're not competing with other person. You're not, you're not competing to prove a point. It's like because for their, for their purpose of achievement, it's not for the, just for the sake of achievement. They're trying mm -hmm. to prove a point. Mm -hmm. yeah. And trying to prove a point, it means there's some philosophy this person is running on mm -hmm. that is robbing them of the joy that's such a sad life, life to yeah. live. Imagine yeah. where you can just be happy with under your skin, sure, just sure. be yeah. happy with yourself and your circumstances, just be content, be yeah, joyful, yeah. just mm. be joyful. Yeah. You are there just being all the time angry, all the sure, time sure. sad, mm. all the time compete. Hey, my gosh, so that's psychological. So that's, that's psychological. mindset. That's, yeah, that's changing. Mindset, that's something yeah, you yeah. cannot force onto them. They you must decide yeah, with them. They must decide. And every person may take different because according to their personality, some, some somebody can change in a moment, mm -hmm. and some may somebody may be still dealing with something to do with 1987. As you know, and it's, <laughs> okay. Some people are sti still stuck at 1987. Mm -hmm. It's a simple thing. And you see, some of the things, that, and you ask them, they'll say, somebody grieved me in this particular way, and even the person they're talking about maybe may have died, mm -hmm. but they're still living with the grief. They cannot get over it. And you see, they are vengeance, like they, are pe they, they have vengeance against this issue. Mm -hmm. And um, what they're, they're, they're experiencing in life is like taking poison, expecting your enemy to die. Yes. See, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes, uh -huh. how to conquer these things, sometimes you can bring it to, to proper pillars that will, thought processes that will help you, sup support you get over it. Mm -hmm. You can begin to say, okay, certain things are common to happen in this world. Mm -hmm. It's common to happen in this world. You can begin to say, Things like the problems that are coming my way are not for my destruction. They maybe they're coming to reveal a better part of me. That when the moment I that like you that. see, so you see now when mm -hmm. you begin to put those thoughts in mind, mm -hmm. they begin to shift your disposition in terms of how you're observing that issue. Mm -hmm. So you begin to observe that issue, and now it's not the issue controlling how you be, but you begin now to begin to take charge over the issue, and you see you come out a better person. Mm -hmm. Like what you're saying after you experience that grief, until you get to a place of confronting yourself, and you realize you can tell 
you came out a stronger person so that such kind of situations, whenever it's that in your environment, you're somebody who rules over that, you can be able to speak authoritatively, authoritatively with somebody who's experienced mm -hmm. some situation and can begin actually to become a pillar to support them out of that situation. Because first of all, to you, it's not something that is rare in this world, it's mm. something that is common. So you're yes, not in the true. place of, well, yeah, why, why me, why mm -hmm. that? You see, you just say, okay, in this world, such kind of a thing, it, it, has, a, it has a possibility of happening, mm -hmm. and now it's upon me to take responsibility to rule over the situation, or to allow the situation to rule over me, yeah. I like that, yeah. I really do. Yeah. So, class, what have we learned so far? We have learned that um, psychological strength and mental health are two different things. Psychological yeah. strength is something from within, something that you keep telling yourself. And once you tell yourself something, yeah. the universe has no option but sure. to comply to you. Yeah. Mental health, on the other hand, is biological. So you have um, conditions such as schizophrenia, you have um, bipolar, mm. et cetera, et cetera. And these mm. most often, more often than not, rather, require medical attention. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so as we wrap this up, I want you to give me, mm. please, yes. an exercise mm. for the audience. Yeah. Something, because I understand when you wake up, the first couple of minutes during the day are very important. That's mm -hmm. how you set the pace for the rest of the day. Mm. There's some things I like to do in the morning and I feel like they work very well for me. Yeah. And if I don't, I'll feel the effect. If mm. I don't do it, I feel the effect, but I will calibrate yeah, yeah. during the, the course of the day. Yeah. But I want the viewers at home to at least know there's a pattern that you can follow in mm. the morning to make you feel stronger, to make yeah. you feel, you know, mm. if you feel you're a queen, you say, <coughs> mm. I'm the baddest, without <laughs> necessarily harming anyone else, without yes, necessarily bringing anyone else down. And mm. that's, you know, life in general. A garden is full of different types of flowers. There's mm. not one flower that's telling the other I'm prettier yeah, than you. They are just coexisting and it's a beautiful place. Mm. So what would you recommend, sir? Yeah, the same way we're talking about even the mind is the mind is that like a garden mm -hmm. where you, you you weed, you kill snacks mm -hmm. and plant roses, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the same thing is we have to be very intentional with uh, our mind in terms of like your, the way you think is who you are. The man is as, as he thinks. So in the morning somebody can just wake up. I see most of the times people wake up and they're like, Wow, it's another day. It's Kwanza Monday. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lonely uh, Monday. You Whoa. See, you see. You see. Uh -huh that alone begin to set on course the forces that will you see it will be that mm -hmm. your life will be that your life will be ah you see but wake up in the morning i'm like wow mm -hmm. you, let, let, you, you, uh, you can have an exercise like this you can mm -hmm. wake up in the morning taking a deep breath <sighs> life is good let's do this mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's another opportunity you see like the moment you do that mm -hmm. everything will begin to come on course to favor you because you are you're energetic, you face life, and you realize you get, there's some people who don't get easily fatigued. The people after sleeping, sleep is equally fatiguing. <laughs> <laughs> they wake up tired. It's weary. They wake up tired. <laughs> like. it's, it's mostly because of how they think. Mm -hmm. They're not looking forward to another day. Mm -hmm. But somebody who is an achiever, they wake up in the morning and like, wow, it's another opportunity to, mm -hmm. to progress. Mm -hmm. And if we do that daily, eventually we kick in and we'll be able to overcome life issues that we face daily. And then, okay, yeah. now that you've woken up, you've taken your deep breath, guys, take a deep mm. breath. Mm. <sighs> I say, life is good. Yeah, and then good. shortly after you walk out of bed and then you're a small toe, it's like it has a GPS for mm. the, the corner yeah, of yeah, furniture. Yeah. We are yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You spent a couple of seconds just writhing in pain mm. and then maybe toothpaste the measure. Yeah. So now you, you feel like now the problems are piling up. Yeah. Okay, so what do you tell yourself then after that? Because if you, you start from life is good, it ought to be the bedrock of everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you filter everything to, through life is good. So mm -hmm. when you hit the bed, it means now you need to, you need to think of how to achieve a better bed and such. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it's about toothpaste, you're thinking now, I need a toothpaste dispenser with mm -hmm. <laughs> several lazy, several things. Somebody who is thinking achievement, every problem they look at, they look for solutions. How can I make better? You see, somebody who's living in a posh place mm -hmm. is because they are trying to make life better. And it started by a thought. Mm -hmm. They're trying to alleviate certain kinds of problem. They face a particular kind of problem. And like, so somebody who's hit the bed and maybe they toe and like, mm -hmm. ouch, mm -hmm. see, no, get back in place. We got to do this. So he's limping. You see, I've ever seen these people <laughs> who are energetic so that they, they don't see any problem. We are going issue. to like, do this whether do this, you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. Uh -huh. And you'll overcome life because if you want to be, to, to, to rift back into, oh, wow, now the problems are piling. Mm -hmm. Problems are there, mm -hmm. but you have to, the attitude that you face the problem determines how your life will be mm -hmm. from that point on, yeah. Mm.
Wow, that's, that was amazing. Yeah. So it's just shifting the attitude every moment. You're hit, you press that in a moment, you say, no, you're not going to rule over me. Mm -hmm. I'm above this. You overcome, yeah. Or well, someone steps on, on you in the matatu, you say, mm. no, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Maybe mm. you just wanted to tell me hi. Hi, hi yeah, 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 you? sure. It's, yeah. You see, there's an attitude disposition. Mm -hmm. Somebody is stepping on you and you're like, maybe you just want to tell me hi. Or you say, these things happen. Okay. Somebody can, can step on you on a matatu and you can start a conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You see, mm. it's a disposition. <laughs> but somebody else will be stepped on and the entire day will be missed. Ruined. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So maybe in conclusion, give me one sentence to wrap yeah. this up right now. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That. Just one one sentence yes. to wrap this up in a nutshell. Yeah. Like a book. Yeah. First, one thing that you can say is like, uh, life is good. Mm -hmm. Life is good and it's worth enjoying and making the better out of it in every moment that you experience. Every situation that comes your way, look at it as an opportunity to mine out something that will make you to be a person of a difference, something mm -hmm. that will give you a distinction. How we process our thoughts in every challenge that we face gives us a mark of distinction that we may step ahead and step out of the crowd. People who step out of the crowd is because of the challenges or the problems they are solved. So in every kind of a problem that you face as an individual, your attitude disposition begins to give you a mark of distinction and you may prosper through the, the thought process that you take through the challenge that you face. There's no challenge that is here to destroy you. Every challenge that is coming your way is to bring out the best in you because the power is in you that is able to overcome every challenge that's in the world. There's no challenge in the world that is beyond your ability to bring under your control. Mm. You're supposed to rule over it. That was beautiful. Yeah. Guys, there's nothing new under the sun. That means yeah. there's no problem you're going mm. to face that no one has ever faced before. Yeah, sure. There's no problem that is going to overwhelm you that someone has not come out of. Yeah. So it's going to be all right. So take that deep breath. It's going to be a great day. I hope okay. to Fukuza Blues is a Monday. Please yeah. have an amazing week. Yeah? yeah. But don't go away. We still have politics coming up next. And Man Crush Monday. Yeah. Woo! Y254 on Facebook at Y254 channel. Twitter hashtag is Y in the morning. You don't want to miss out. You really don't.